Hello everyone, um, this is Dr. Russell Schaefer. So I'd like to introduce you to something new that I'm starting to do in my office uh, starting 2024, actually. It's the end of 2023 right now. Uh, you can actually see December 26, 2023. Um, you know, it, this is the uh, Luckman Post Dam. For anyone that works with Tim Lane or has looked at Tim Lane's stuff, he loves the Luckman Post Dam. And um, no one does it digitally, unfortunately, but it's a shame because it's a phenomenal post dam. Dentists hate the post dam because they say it doesn't need it anymore, especially in the digital world, because post dams were supposed to fix, you know, processing inaccuracies. But the Luckman post dam doesn't really, f is not really meant to fix inaccuracies. It actually adds a little suction cup. And let me kind of go over it really quick with you, kind of show what it does here. Uh, Tim has this one little thing. If you type in Luckman post dam, uh, L Luck, as in L-U-C-K, man, post dam, into Google, you'll find it real quick. And I'll post it on the show notes um, for this YouTube channel. Um, you can kind of see right here, identify YouTube, uh, identify landmarks, you know, you know, highlight like this on the cast, you know, we kind of just go right to the very base of the Ruge right there, and then kind of create a little horseshoe right there, and then what we do is we kind of almost start grinding out everything but almost that little, like, almost like a little, I hate to say, what's the word, word for it right here, like almost like a guitar pick, I think it's like almost a Tim uses right here, you, grind almost, you almost grind out a little, everything but a little guitar pick, and create a little suction cup right in the middle, right there. And my goodness, you get a phenomenal suction cup. Um, these work really great, especially in uh, palace where you got no bone at all. I highly recommend everyone who's never used a Luckman post dam do this at least once. Um, have your labs do it, it's phenomenal. Tim shares with everyone in the world. Just try it. Um, but I'm gonna show you how you do this digitally. Hi, huge shout out to Baron Grutter. He um, worked me through how to do this in, in um, Mesh Mixer. I pray that Blue Sky Bio or ExoCAD or someone else decides to show how to do this in a better software than Mesh Mixer because no one else does it. But I'm going to show you Mesh Mixer right now in a better way. Um, and I'm going to call this the the Grutter Lane Luckman post dam from here on out. So let's get started with it. We're going to open the files first and I'll post all these files to my little... Um, I'll post all these files up there so anyone who wants to play with it can play with it. Let us load it up. So we have Mesh Mix opened up. First thing first, let's notice the landmarks here. I'm not going to mark them, but you can see the nasal palatine right here. And you can kind of see where the uh, midline of the uh, vibrating um, line is right down here. Let us start by making some marks on the cast itself. Um, we'll hold on, hit the select button. We want the brush size to be around 20. Maybe a little bit over 20, it makes it a little easier to mark things down. Um, click the left mouse button. And I find it's easier to start from the midpoint right below the Ruge. And we kind of just follow along right here. And go like this right here. So you kind of want to follow this little arc right here. It doesn't have to be exact. You know, mount, dentures are not an exact science. No matter what anyone tells you. There we go, great. Up now, like the way it looks, hit Control Z. Whenever you don't like something to hit Control Z to get rid of it. And then start over. Perfect. So there we go, perfect. We got our first line right there. Now let's follow the vibrating line along the way. Good, good, good. And let's thicken this little spot up over here a little bit for us. Good, great. Good. Hit Control G to make everything one piece right there. Let's make sure that all looks pretty. And hit B to make sure simplified. And that looks good. Let's make sure now we can actually extrude it all. Okay, so it's not liking that, but that's okay. But let's see what it does here down the road. Um, next thing we want to do is we kind of want to create that second little part here, which is almost that little um, dip right here. So we're going to kind of start right here and go like this, right here and right here. Let's go a little bit more here. One little piece right here. One little piece right here. Good. Control G. 
perfect. And actually we're going to add a little bit more right here. A little more right here as well. Great. I kind of want to. I kind of want to make these pieces almost separate, to make kind of two separate things. I want to have like one piece that right here that's extruded, and another piece down here that's intruded. And hit Control G for both those things. Good. Now let's start selecting things here. And make that all one piece here. Hit B to simplify. I like that. Let's see, this, it's selected here. Oop. Clear selection here. Now let's make see if I make this other thing simplified here or not. Simplify. Oop. Did not simplify that. Hit Control Z whenever you don't like it. B to simplify that. Not quite loving it. Let's see what it does here. Good. But what we'll do here is let's first, you know, make this piece right here. A little bit more. Let's actually simplify this piece a little bit more here. B. Let's see, where is it not happy at here? Probably not right there. Let's see if that makes it happier. There we go. Good. So whenever you see it being red like that, it means it's not happy. It's not going to do what we want to do later on for um modifying the uh, models, and you'll see what I mean in a second. Because if we didn't do it, make it red like that, we wouldn't actually be able to make it intrude and extrude. So, next we're going to do is we're going to want to extrude um, the green pieces. So, hit select, double click the um, interior of that, double click the green, and let's edit, extrude, and let's do it by, let's say we want to do an offset of 0.33. Perfect. And you can see right here, this compared a little suction cup here. That way, when our patient bites into it, it's going to give him or her a really nice suction cup. Perfect. Good, good, good. And you can make this as big or as small as you want to, obviously. That's the first thing, clear selection. Now, for our interior triangles here, we want to make those actually one millimeter in, in um, thickness, as you can see right here per Tim's instructions. Um, right there. So let's do those next. Select, double click, double click, edit, extrude, negative, negative one. Perfect. Wonderful, 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 except. Now, last but not least, we want to take the purple spots and we want to do this by 0.5. Negative 0.5, I should say. Select, edit, extrude, negative 0.5. Good. And now we have a kind of a nice little posterior paddle seal right there combined with a little suction cup in the middle. Accept, perfect, file, export. We'll save it under. Yellow little post stamp files. Mesh mixer. Now, I'm not going to smoothen this file in this program right here because Mesh Mixer kind of sucks to smoothen. Um, I prefer to smoothen um, Blue Sky Plan. So we're not going to save here. Don't save. Let us pull up Blue Sky Plan here. Import the models. BLL. And unfortunately, Mesh Mix makes these files just giant, which is why I don't love working in it. Let's 
skip alignment. I always skip alignment for these things. That way, if you ever need to play with the files later on, you can always easily work with them. And then we're just going to smooth these things out right here. Especially on these lines. Don't mess with, uh, maybe we'll mesh this line just a little bit here just to make things look a little prettier. We don't mesh with them too much. If you want to take a hand piece, honestly, probably some of the stuff I try to take a hand piece to it after I print it out. That'd probably be the easiest way to smooth it, the easiest way, honestly. But yeah, now I've got a uh, posterior, I mean, a posterior palatal seal. I guess a palatal seal that looks pretty nice right there, honestly. And that right there is how you make a, um, what I'm calling the Grutter um, Lane Luckman. Post am. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.